Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Sorry I am just absolutely still bloody tired and look terrible, I know, but I didn't get much sleep. It was probably my worst night's sleep on this tour so far, I'd say. It was terrible. So, all right, let me give you guys the rundown. <laughs> so, I camped over by the footy goals out the back there, just sort of out the back around there. And I probably should have stayed there last night. But then I got up and I walked the bike around here. And I went into this coach's box. It's like a two-story coach's box. And the top story of the coach sits. And down below is where the footy players sort of rest and stuff. So I walked up the stairs and went into the top of the coach's box. And it was seeming like it was going to be a really nice sleep. I went to bed about um, 9 o'clock. And then I freaking woke up to sprinklers at about 12.30. Just sprinklers that were coming around and they were going straight in exactly at my level. And I was getting just hammered with these bloody sprinklers. They were freaking powerful. So the sprinklers are just turning around and then just blasting me as I'm sleeping. And everything got wet. And my camera got wet and everything. Alright guys, I just got hammered this morning by these freaking sprinklers. Look at this. I was sitting up on that top deck. Oh fuck. And these sprinklers are just shooting water out. And I copped it real bad. I was sitting at the top of this bloody thing. And the water's just coming in here and just and just absolutely saturated my freaking camera, all my stuff, my sleeping bag, everything's so wet. Oh, good morning. And the worst thing is the water must be recycled, it smells like shit. It's also bloody only 12.45. They couldn't have bloody put them on at five o'clock or something. And then by the time I realised and I woke up that holy crap I'd just been dumped with disgusting water coming out of the sprinkler. I'm like, alright, let's just get out of here. So I made a run for it and by the time I packed up everything, it came around a second time and I got hit again. So um, yeah, I had a terrible night's sleep last night because my, um, my everything pretty much is wet. I had to get changed. And then I got changed into some more sort of winter clothes because it's a bit chilly. It got chilly last night. The fog is sort of just lifting here a bit, but it was at three o'clock was the coldest and I woke up and I was like shivering. Uh, I couldn't get to sleep and I was just so uncomfortable. <laughs> My sleeping bag is just wet, so I couldn't use that. And the clothes that I was in are wet, so I had to change, and um, yeah, disaster, guys, disaster. Oh, so that was my night, and I'm kind of running very short on a good night's sleep. Yeah, at the moment, I'm just sort of planning where I want to make it to today. Because um, I want to sort of plan a decent camp spot where I can have a shower and rest up properly. Because I've just been absolutely belted with this. It's just been so unfair. And here I am just going on a tangent complaining. But anyway, guys. Yeah. I am uh, getting up. See, like, I, c I just can't sleep in. It's, um, it's almost 5 o'clock. And I was kind of just waiting for it, too. To just break so then it just warms up a little bit. The worst thing was the sprinkler water. It freaking stinks. Like it must be recycled water or something and it smells like crap. And I now I smell like crap. So what I'm going to have to do guys is um, probably head into Mackay um, and go to the laundromat there. It actually opens up very soon so I might do that now or thereabouts. And get all my stuff cleaned and dried. That would make me feel so much better right now. So yeah, that's my main two goals for today. Is just to clean my stuff, my clothes, my sleeping bag, pillow, all that stuff. 
And goal number two is to find a legit place to camp that's much more comfortable so I can get a good sleep. I just want to sleep in. So I kind of moved all over the place last night. So I was over by that, those footy goals and then I moved over to this coach's box here. And then once all that got done, I walked around this way to about the pocket, the far side pocket and I kind of just sat there for a bit and I realized the grass is wet there so then I walked all the way out the back there to around that that little building you can see there and then I realized that building <laughs> it was crazy it was just like trial and error just bouncing around everywhere trying to find the perfect place <laughs> that building has like two like automatic lights so the lights got turned on and it was just too bright so then I walked around here and I was like coming down here and I walked, so I did a lap of the oval, <laughs> but I came down here, and I went over to soccer goal, and I set up here, and then I just hung up my stuff to dry a little bit, and I got to sleep for about an hour, and I woke back up because I realized it was too bloody windy, and I just couldn't get to sleep because I didn't have my warm sleeping bag. <laughs> you can tell where I've been. You can see <laughs> the bicycle wheel marks. <laughs> <laughs> so I've come through here, gone to there, and then, yeah, and then I got up again as it was too windy, and you can see my bike marks again, and I went over to these coaches' box for the soccer, and that's where I ended up last night. <laughs> I kind of slept under the bench, and um, had Surly on the other side, and then my wet sleeping bag over the top to try and sort of just block the wind as much as possible, but it was just too freaking cold. Oh. Yeah, it was up here. And it was crazy because the sprinkler, so I was laying right here and it was coming in right on this angle and it was just shooting right here, like straight into my side. We have a bit of a problem. The bottom of the rack here is touching the wheel. So, uh, yeah, one of the uh, screws here is just cracked. This one right here is cracked off. <sighs> I don't want to do this right now. Yeah, she's snapped down here and it's all bent up. So I've got to try and get this off and um, try and find another bolt. Oh, it's not my ute, so oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. So I just here at the laundry mat that um this is bent here and the bolt that was attaching it to the bike is snapped so I've got it. Fix this up. Got it right. No, that's alright. I'll probably use like a knife or something. There you go. Yeah. Oh, even, even if you get it nearly on there and then go next door, they yeah. might have a screwdriver in there. Yeah. Thanks so much for that. So, what sort of work do you do? So, the guy just here, he gave me one of these screws. Um, I don't have a screwdriver, but apparently you can go next door and just screw it on. Um, but that worked out perfect. Some uh, pair of pliers that I could borrow. Thing on, I just got to dig that out. Somewhere. Oh, right, yeah. There you go. Bloody Ripper, thank you so much. No worries. Cheers. Sweet. So, guys, we fixed the problem. One of them here snapped, got it out, got some help uh, from next door, which is really awesome. Um, and we re bent that. And I put one of the screws that I had up here down here and Baldy, the bloke that I just bumped into there, the, the, here in that laundromat, he gave me this one here. Uh, I don't have a screwdriver, but I'm going to try and get that on there properly so it's nice and good. But yeah, she's back to business. Um, this thing here was rubbing against the tyre and I've lost that little rubber thing. But um, that's all good now. It's all good. Yeah, Baldy, so helpful that bloke. Didn't even, he just saw that I snapped this and just went over to his car. What a legend. I don't know where I would have gotten one from. I was trying to think of where I could get it, but I just didn't 
didn't know, so it worked out perfect. I'm also just cleaning up everything. It's just a mess at the moment. It's organising. Oh yeah, we're also doing some washing. It's still going, almost done. So guys, I've just been bloody talking to people all day. It's been absolutely fascinating. Some real deep conversations about like this guy's story. He came from the Philippines, moved to Australia. Now he's like super successful and he's doing really well. Just got out of the $2 shop. Picked up an Aussie flag, so now we're gonna rep the Aussie. So um, I've gotta try and figure out how to get this on and sort of mount it in a way that sort of just, just flies out the back here somehow. We'll figure it out. It's way bloody bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's gonna have to wear it as like a, a cape or something. I guess that'll do, a bit of the Southern Cross going on. And it's like pimping my ride. It should stay there pretty well. It was um, quite the impulse buy, because I just left my bike out here. I didn't even lock it up and I was a bit wary, so I just quickly got this. But... All right, we're on the road. We're heading for the Leap Hotel. It's only about an hour ride. I'm right on the bloody Bruce Highway, and she's brutal. She's very loud. Uh, flag back there. Blowing nicely. Hopefully we don't lose it and I tied it on properly. But uh, I am loving it. Repping the Aussie, mate. So guys, it's been quite the yarn kind of day. I've been talking to heaps of people today. It's been quite incredible. It's been really, really good for my sort of, I guess, morale and like my attitude towards this trip and everything like that. It's been really, really good. I've probably spoken to like five or six people like for a decent amount of time too. So I might try and like recap like all the stories and like, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but I've got an idea for a book that I want to write. It's coming later on though. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. It should be super interesting. It's like in regards to the stories and stuff of all the people I meet pretty much on a trip like this. It's just, yeah, it's quite quite incredible, the stories of the like the people you meet and things like that. So yeah, it's freaking awesome. So we made it to the Leap Hotel. I'm just sitting in this little sort of rotunda place here. As the sun's setting out the back, that's the hotel there. I'm gonna set up the tent soon and uh, we'll get settled here for tonight. Also guys, the new addition to the Surly is Bloody Ripper. I think we got our first toot with this. I don't know if the flag drew the toot or not, or if it was the packed bike, but I also forgot to bloody wash my sleeping bag with the washing that I did today. It's a bit damp and smells terrible, so uh, just trying to dry it out before it gets too late. All right guys, so we set the tent up where the banana trees are actually. I don't know if these bananas, these must be the bananas under here. Yeah, bananas. That's close. I'm probably just going to end the vlog here. Wasn't that much of a vlog. I don't know, was it? Maybe it was. It's going to be noisy tonight. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, comments below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.